Uh, my home, Frisco, Texas. I mean, I grew up here since I was a little kid. Was born in Plano, but then we came over here to Frisco. I mean, Frisco's just home. I, I know every inch of this place. Like, we can go anywhere. I, I know what's up, so I mean, yeah, this is home. Bro! You got flour. I got two waters. They got to carry me two water cases. They're crazy. What is that? Oh, uh, we're just, uh, you know, some, some hard, oh, just stepping in. There's some cars pulling up, just getting out food to the people in need and just, uh, service in the community, basically. Oh, are you serious? We're like low key a mess, though, so I mean. But like just to see like all the people coming in and so see how many people are really like needing help, and it's just great to give back towards them. I mean, I had a couple little kids came up to me and it, it was it was pretty good. It was a pretty cool feeling. So I mean, it's just like, it's just it's just always good to give back, and it, it made me feel good. I bet all the people there made me feel good, and it was also good for the team just to you know get outside of basketball and do something else besides that. <laughs> that trip is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so many people here. So like, it's it. They did it differently. Like in Allen, like you could, you had, they had like eight thousand students, but in Frisk, like eight thousand students in one school. They had like a freshman center and all that, but like it all goes to Allen, so there's like eight thousand students. But in Frisco, I think like at our school is like sixteen hundred. So we have so many kids here, and there's so many Frisco schools that they had to split the district up. So now there's like it used to be all one Frisco district, but now there's too many. There's like twelve Frisco high schools. So it, it got split up, but I mean, it's, it's just, it's actually a, it's a really fun, like, it's just a really fun area just because everybody knows each other and we all play against each other. So like, there's a lot of competitiveness here that I don't think a lot of people realize. He had fake extensions for six months. <laughs> <laughs> Why you do that? Bro, I'm not walking around in school with little words in my head, so I got extensions. No, it's not that big of a deal. I'm not the first person to do it. I mean, you're both side by side. Him five months ago and him right now. You have fake dress. You have fake dress. That's not a box. I know. See? See? It tripped me. All right, all right. That's cool. It's cool. It went all the way down to here. What happened? I cut him. I cut him. What? I cut him. I cut him. Huh? Why do you call me out for him? Cause you said something. Like, <laughs> like, like why you do that? Like, what'd you what'd you say? I didn't say anything. Nah, about you my said hair. something. About what? About my hair? That's one thing about me. Like you say something like. Well, you're gonna say something back? Yeah, and I'm just gonna like end it. Like, <laughs> like it's gonna be over. But why like, it may be foul as. Oh wait 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 what? No, foul as what? <laughs> see see you the church you not a man of God. Oh yeah, bro was working in there though. Not even gonna lie. Javon too. Javon. <laughs> Him and Jamal are like twins. Hey, but who looked the best on the team, bro? Like, you, you look. Bro. No, it's either Leon. Maybe he was picked right. Tell the camera. 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 Dylan look better than you. Huh? Dylan, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, he like 12, bro. Yeah, you know, hey, JT, we look. Hey, everybody said we look the best on the team. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Bro, what about me? As a man? No, as a man? My girl's the best on the team, so it doesn't matter. I said I was a man, I was going to tell you, but nah, watch that. I was trying to give you some props. Oh, but you, what? all right, my bad. No, no, take it. Sleeper Mike. Sleeper Mike. Mike. It's Mike. It's Mike. Oh, if the camera wasn't on, I'd say something. But Mike, no, Mike is not in. No, 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 for real, for real. Who's the better on the team? Oh, Leon. Yeah. I realize you had the I had this like oh Taylor wait. No 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 wait, wait. Oh. No, 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 Mike, like, bro, let me no, go. No, no listen listen Taylor's not gonna see this Taylor's not gonna see this, not gonna see this. All right. Who's, Jamie hit my girl is second best on the team. My girl won? Yeah, how are you gonna say uh, that? Wait, were you got on camera? You got on camera? No, don't say that. You said what? You said you know what? This camera not in like 4K, it's like 8K too. It's like like you're so calm. It's gonna be a part. Serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why would you say that? Mike, you're in trouble. Because he's going to post this and you're going to say it. Taylor's going to be like, oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I don't know. I don't remember when I was like really little. I mean, okay, I definitely remember like, I, it'd be like fourth grade probably when uh, my dad has programmed D1 basketball and the field house, which is just on the street, like three minutes away, the field house USA Frisco one. I just always remember being in there just like getting shots up, working out over there. I mean, I was probably in that gym at least five, six days a week. Like it was, it, that was like home for a while. And the funny part is like, now I never go there. And it's like just down the street, but like early, early on, that's all I ever went to was that place right there. And that's, uh, that's really where I like started working out and stuff and really like dedicating to the ground. I mean, the success we had with D1 was, is, is crazy. I mean, we had Kaysen Wallace on there who's at Kentucky right now killing as a freshman. He's going to be a, what, lottery pick? We got Isaiah Foster who, he's at a great school at Quincy University. He's, he, he was really good. Uh, we had Amari Abar who's at Ohio State now playing DN. We had Marquis Sykes who's at Gramley State playing DN. We had Croy and Ty Cox who are both high major uh, kids that are in my class as well and then who else did we have on the team we had we had a kid from Oklahoma named Man Man who's uh he's playing college basketball and then we had a lot of like Austin Nunez was on the team at one point who's at Arizona State who's just had like what 20 so I mean that team was that team was it was stacked I mean and we were all we were it was like it was a real brotherhood too like everybody loved each other like we still talk to this day we still got group chats so like I mean we were and we were really good like we were like top five in the country for at least five six years until eighth grade when we all kind of split up but from fourth grade to eighth grade nobody could mess with us at d1 i mean we were the we were the we were the best team in texas texas we were top one or two teams us in the hoops because the hoops had like bryce griggs and all them but us two were both top five in the whole country so i mean it was it was pretty crazy we <laughs> done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope we're done. We're, no, we're, done. We're, done. We're, done. we're done. Great community today. Great community today. Great community. 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 And just get back, you know. And uh, as a team, bring brings us together, and like we're doing some, we're doing stuff for every, right, other bro. people. So like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, well said, yeah. Nah, it, was, it was good. It was a good little day today. I mean, what was it? Three hours community yeah, service. Three hours, yeah. A little three team hours. building stuff, but yeah, yeah. You know, it was a fun time. Got to help a lot of people, Jay so Jay it was good. Right here, my yeah, man. Jay yeah, right here. Yeah, man, man. And I just gotta say something real quick. These boys work hard on the court. They work hard in the church. I'm telling y'all, they're coming for everybody. It's gonna be a good season. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna say something real quick. Uh, I wish I was part of this team. I feel like I'd, I'd make it better, but you know what? I can't. So you know what? I'm just gonna be here. I'm just gonna be here. But you know what? I got y'all Chick Fil A though. That's what I'm gonna do. Hey, now they like me. Now they like me. Yes, sir. Oh, that is Sunday. Sunday, you know. Oh, yeah. I was gonna go right oh, there. Chick Fil A. No, you going to Taylor's right. Yes, I am. I know I am. Hey, I love Taylor. She, she did. I, I love her so much. Oh, no, I do too. Hey, roll a clip. 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 We're at my high school, Frisco Memorial. Um, that's where I. That's why I've been since a little freshman. You know, didn't transfer anywhere. Didn't do any of that. And today's the day I signed for to be a player at Texas Tech. So I mean, it's just a blessing for real. Was there ever like a, a point, you know, in your life where you started making like changes that kind of changed the trajectory of your career? Like, do you remember anything like that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I remember like sixth, seventh grade, right in middle school, around there, I was like, should I go play other sports? Should I go do like something else other than basketball? Just because like, if you, I felt like if you were going to play basketball, you really had to dig in and do your hardest. So I mean, I, I, I made a decision. I was like, nah, like this is what I want to do. This is what I love. Like, I don't want to do anything else. So I decided, like, in that area, like, I'm going to go push and I'm going to go, I'm going to go work out four or five, six times a week. Now, I mean, now today is a two days, but I didn't know that in the beginning. But, like, I had to take another step in, like, my body, everything else. Like, I really take it like a, like a high schooler when I was in middle school, but now I'm taking it like a pro. Uh, signing day is a big, it's not only big for the 
the, the player that signed, the family that signed, but it's also been for the program, and it's also been for the people that's behind to see, actually see this, and actually see that your hard work does pay off. What you do every day, not only on the court, on the field, uh, in trains and, and workouts, but also in the classroom, because you won't be at this table for what Drew's about to do unless she is in the classroom as well. So, this is a great day. Like I told Drew, like I told our program this morning, this is not the end all. This is a combination of a lot of hard work and an opportunity to keep working hard at the next level. So, what Drew's about to do, Super proud of you, Drew. Uh, I can sit up here for, for all day and tell you our story. So when the first year we opened up, Drew was eighth grade, he was a lot more than when you knew he was going to be a really good player. But like I said, this is a combination of a lot of hard work, but that hard work is going to continue. So uh, I just want to say thank you to Gibson, all the assistant coaches, my family, everybody involved. It's been a good last year, and we're having a good senior year this year. And we'll sign this letter and we'll get to practice. So got work to do. how much support system you have around you. I mean, I had I had a lot of people in here just off. I probably had like 50 plus friends and family just from Frisco, Dallas, a couple, a couple of my aunts uh, came from California. So, I mean, it just shows how, how much like, they love me and how much they care for me and just shows what I have around me. And that feels that feels great once you get to this point. What's it like to finally get to this day? You know, it feels like a decade. Yeah. Like, what's it like finally? Yeah. It feels great, just like, especially for the ink on the paper and like, know that you're actually going there without any doubt. So, it feels great. That's a great yeah. um, it just seems like, like, when I first came in here and I met Gibson, I was like, I didn't really know who he was. And then we built a relationship freshman year, sophomore year, and like, he's my, he's my guy. Like, he's somebody I can come to whenever in life and he'll be there for me. And then doing it in Frisco was just. I, I wanted to do that forever. Like I didn't want to go anywhere else. I wanted to. I, I felt like somebody really came out of Frisco and gone all the way through. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to like put my stamp on like he's from Frisco, Texas, and no, nowhere else. You know what I mean? So I mean, just that. And I mean, <laughs> like, I don't even know how to put it in the words. Just how much like even like the fans of Frisco, the school, how they just like, rally around. It, it's just so much of a different feeling than going to a prep school or anything sure, else. Yeah. It's just like. It feels like you're almost like in like a mini college, if that makes sense. Yeah, I get that. Uh, last question for you, but this season, senior year, you guys made it further than ever before last year. How are you feeling better than this year? We're, uh, we're feeling better than ever. We're going we're to build off last year. We've got a couple of seniors that left that are doing great in college right now. And uh, we're just trying to keep building off we did last year. And I really think we can make a state push, state run, just like we did last year. And not only make it the fifth round, but go make it go state run and go win it all. Oh, feels good. Feels good signing. I mean, I've been just a little kid, just want to play college basketball, and to go go do it at Tech is just it's a dream come true for real. So everyone else had this earlier, and then you just had yours. Yeah. Also. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, it just felt like it just feels amazing. I don't even know how to put it for real. <laughs> Drew Steffi, man, Texas Tech, man. Talk to, talk, what, what made you go to Texas Tech, man? Come on. West Texas ain't nothing out there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Texas Tech, man, it, they're just a family down there, for real. Like, those are all my guys. They've been, shoot, they've been with me since, like, ever since, like, we could start talking to coaches, they were the ones hitting me up and stuff. So I was like, uh, this is family already, and then the coaches, and then I really think my fit is really good there. Like, they need three point shooters, and that's what I bring, so, you know.
possession. Let's get a good possession. I'm off. All right. Nice. So let's talk about your shooting. Like I know that's like one of your your biggest strengths. So what do you think like that opens up? Like you know what I'm saying? As far as like like this game right here, like yeah. the first half you kind of struggled a little bit, and then uh, like late second half you kind of just turned it on. So what what kind of triggered you to kind of get in that mode? I mean, we got we, we, we got down we got down like 15 or something. Like, I got I got to turn it on here. But I mean, I was trying to I was trying to get to it early. They they were putting a, a press on us though, so like I I get out of my hands quick so I can't get the ball back. But after that, they start they start pressing and I got into it. And then my shot just creates everything for me pretty much. I mean, has he to the basket, floaters, all that. It just it, it makes them push up and I can score right by him. Got you, man. Well, shoot, congratulations, man. Congratulations on the offer, commitment, and sign, everything. So thank you. Oh.